Monster, renewed for another season. Are you prepared to let Ed Gein and John Wayne Gacy into your household? Well, let's find out that and more in this. That's right, it's your man Z, and we're going to discuss Netflix's most recent announcement that Monster's been renewed for season two and three. We all knew that Dahmer was a huge hit. We knew it was controversial, but did we know how successful it was? Looks like Ryan Murphy's deal is coming through because not only is that renewed, but we also have this. Watcher was also renewed. Now, I don't know how The Watcher's going to get renewed. I did start watching that, and I never quite finished it. Took a little bit of time to move forward. I think I got through like three episodes, maybe two, and I just I couldn't get into it. It definitely didn't do as well as Dahmer did. Dahmer was dominating the charts for, for easily a month on Netflix, if not longer. And it looks like that big deal that they signed with Ryan Murphy for $200 million is starting to pay off for them. Because they have some big hits here. Did you enjoy Dahmer? I liked Dahmer. Uh, I'm going to say the performances were really good. I do have a full review that I did of it on our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that up here. And if you'd like to hear a little bit more about it, I will say that I found some of the liberties that they took with the story, especially presenting it so... Uh, doing such a good job of trying to present it accurately and representing some of the victims and things like that for them to take some of the liberties that they did kind of soured me on the show started off real hot and by the end I was a little bit like eh, you know it didn't end as hot as I wanted it to um, but let's take a look let's read the article here from Variety Netflix is going the anthology route with Monster they're going to st- the streamers ordering two additional seasons created by ryan murphy and ian brennan uh monster (laughs) the official title which was super confusing dahmer hyphen monster colon the jeffrey dahmer story now it was a huge uh huge huge hit it hit hit real high on the nielsen streaming it was the number one on nielsen streaming charts for three straight weeks According to Netflix, it's the second, it's the streamer's second most popular English TV season ever. So here's from uh, Netflix's global head of TV. Audiences can't take their eyes off Monster and The Watcher. The creative team of Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan on Monster, along with Eric Newman on The Watcher, are masterful storytellers who captivated audiences all over the world. The back-to-back force of these two stories is due to Ryan's distinct original voice which created cultural sensations that we are thrilled to continue telling stories with Monster and Watcher universes. Evan Peters' as Dara was fantastic. Molly Ringwald was in it. Who even knew? But it was really good. Really enjoyed it. But there's a problem with this. Well, maybe I don't have a problem, but maybe you do. Let's talk about it. Netflix is accused of treating serial killers like they're the Avengers. <laughs> After announcing that Je- Jeffrey Dahmer series will return for more seasons, focusing on other monstrous figures. BuzzFeed News. Now, I did say during my 10 second reviews of Dahmer, which I will link right here, 10 second reviews. I did every single episode that they did do some foreshadowing of Ed Gein and John Wayne Gacy. They did show both of them in the show. Now, what I'm thinking is, if I know Ryan Murphy, who is, you may know him from such things as Glee and from American Horror Story and now Monster, that he, it says they're going to focus on other monstrous figures and... While I'll give him season two might be a serial killer, I strongly suspect that season three is going to be a monstrous figure that didn't actually kill anybody. Maybe somebody influential. I mean, I'm almost thinking of a Joe McCarthy, but who knows where he'll go with this. But I'm not sure because a lot of the serial killers have already been highlighted. He did himself. He did an American Crime Story of the murder of Giovanni um, 
who who was that? The 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 uh, designer, the fashion designer, who was murdered by that spree killer. So they already had Gianni Versace. That's what it was. So he already clearly has kind of an obsession with killers. So what is he going to do next? Uh, I th- I do think it was it shouldn't have been ten episodes. They probably should have had it at eight uh, episodes. Apparently, it's a their biggest hit since Stranger Things. So it's definitely bringing in eyeballs. There's a lot of uh, controversy surrounding it because they were trying to illustrate how the systemic racism and institutional failures of the police. uh, But in order to show that, they fictionalized it. They took it, instead of making it real, they made it fake. And one of the main criticisms people are feeling is that they're exploiting Dahmer's crimes for profit. Now, Dahmer's dead. So it's not like he's making money off of it. So I don't know how they're going to do that. It is interesting that they, again, they teased um, Ed Gein and John Wayne Gacy. So I'm not sure where he's going to do this. And a lot of people are, uh, he, he claims, Ryan Murphy is claiming that it examines how easy it is to get away with things with the white privilege aspect. Uh huh. So we'll see a lot of people weren't he claims that he went out and he tried to reach out to the family and friends and they spent three and a half years researching the show but nobody reached back out to them okay we'll see we'll see not sure if i really uh really believe that it's been uh, contradicted by several family members now look uh errol Lindsay's cousin Look, I don't expect Ryan Murphy to reach out to every single person related to every single person who was murdered, right? If there were all these people who were murdered, murdered, there's like 20 of them, right? I don't expect him to reach out to like one of their cousins. Like, come on, you know, maybe the direct, like the mother or the grandmother or the father, or somebody in the immediate family, cousins and second brothers, eh, not so much. But it's a definitely interesting. A lot of people are mad at like this true crime industrial complex. They're just uh, people are pissed, man. But you know what? All the controversy uh, allows people to have more engagement with it. I mean, Netflix isn't going to shy away from this. They're going to be like, "Yeah, we love all this extra free publicity that you're giving our show." You know, oh, it's so disgusting. The record-breaking success of Dahmer. Look, people are never not going to watch true crime. They're never not going to. I do think it's hilarious, though, that they're they're claiming that Netflix is assembling a cinematic universe of of monstrous figures. Like, are they going to do Saddam Hussein? Like, I don't know. It's very, very strange. What what are they going to do this? They're... The, 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 this decision has pushed society back years. Uh huh. Why people listen to anybody who tweets is beyond me. Just because one jackhole says something doesn't make it a fact. It's we all have opinions, and they're not all good ones. Uh, <laughs> serial killer extended universe. Uh, it's kind of funny. I. <laughs> it's so stupid. These people are so dumb. They're so they're so upset about it. And yeah, it's just outrage culture. They want to get outraged. They love it. They just they want to give his I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm swinging the f- wrong fence on this one. You tell me in the comments down below, uh do you think this is the new Avengers of serial killers or do you think that this is profiteering or is is Ryan Murphy exploiting these people? I'm not sure. Check out our full-length audio podcast. We live stream it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. You can catch us Rumble and all those other good places. You can also get the audio podcast for free, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. Check out everything we got going. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one because I am on to the next one. (laughs) 